Hey there everyone, Indulger here, back again with another Fire Emblem Heroes video. Today we've got for you the conclusion of Either Raids Week 62, it's Day 7. Get ready for some fun. We've got a bunch of defense to go over, go over this after mock battles. We've got Juck and two successes here. Unfortunately, Juck ended up being the final nail in my Tier 27 coffin, anti-Tier 27. We're just going to miss it by 8 points if we end up getting... Uh, perfect offense today, which is possible. I'm feeling confident with four ladders. Uh, taking that minus 40 on day two or whatever it was sounds like a bad idea. But all right, we're going to pivot first to mock battles. We've got essentially three today. We've got Alex and CMA, and then we're going to go look over Yurio's team again because we're going to rematch them. <laughs> Sorry, Yurio. That's what you get for friending me in the middle of a Ether Raid season after you fought me. All right, we're going to fight Alex and CMA today. If you want to be a part of the Mock Battle series, just leave me a note, a comment on this video. Tell me what season you want to fight in, and then simply add me. My friend code is in the video description notes. All right, we've got an Ike and a Lucina on Anima. Don't normally see both of them. It's pretty cool. It's, her fa it's his favorite friend, Lucina. A lot of speed here. Hector's here. Giving some cooldown. It hits it. No, well, first thing to note um, on this team is it doesn't work like you'd expect it, I don't think. I mean, I'm assuming you want Ossia's Pulse for Bashir and Lucina and Ike, but that doesn't work. These units are not going to get that cooldown because, again, it only works. If the allies movement type is less than two and you've got three infantry here. So only people who are going to get that are Roy and Duma. If that's what you want, that's fine. But generally speaking, I don't really like Hector that much because, I mean, I've played with him on defense myself and it doesn't end up working well. And this doesn't have any dancers, so this is interesting. We've got a pass and a Wings of Mercy 2. So I'm going Vantage this time and I'm gonna go Vantage all day. We're gonna try something new. I've actually built a team three with Fjorm, Naga, and the usual red suspects. Um, what I'm gonna do... What the hell did I just do? No, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> You're not supposed to break it, Altina. You're supposed to have somebody else break it. What I'm gonna do, to get that right, is just tank this Ike because Altina is the perfect unit to tank an Ike. If no one else is around to stop me, which there are no dancers, no, there's no jumping, there's no rally traps. The way her special works is she's going to invalidate Ike's 80% reduction. And he's gone. So from here, this is a nice, oppressive pivot team. They're coming right at me. Ooh, we got a, a Roy with Gale Force. I mean, was I right? Yeah, I mean, I, so I'm pretty sure Ossia's Pulse is not working on these guys. From here, I thankfully can beat the Hector, and it's close. This Hector's got a plus defense. With Thrasher's defensive bonus, this makes this really challenging. But thankfully, I've got a drive attack Aversa with Goad. For this very reason, we could take Hector out. Death Smoke them, which doesn't actually help in this case. And we're just going to get the heck out of here and deal with Roy with Naga. Now, <clears throat> this Naga does not have the A skill that she normally comes with. I can't run both in an Altina team. But I basically really want Divine Fang always in a team like this so I can deal with Dumas on Duma season. It's going to be tough. We've got a Roy who's going to be using his... Well, defense isn't going to help, so his res is all that matters. He still has a 72 effective bulk, and we don't have that much. But we're going to get a lot because we're going to get some plus threes here, although no one has Dragon Effectiveness. Does anybody have Dragon Effectiveness? It's really just going to come from the goads, and that's going to be enough. Alright, so if we can't beat this Roy, all hell will break loose, but we can barely do it. And now, 
Here's the thing about Thrasher's weapon. We see here almost every day, and yet I always forget how it works. It's the killing intent which really screws you up. Now, Altina can beat her, but she's got to be at 100% HP and no penalty. The cool thing about Altina is she doesn't really soak anything. Like, she doesn't have a lot of attack speed. She doesn't have... She's got decent um, death and res. Who's taking the actual soak here? In this case, it's our bonus unit, Air. Well, I'm going to have her go up there. I'm going to take this, the sheer hit. And then we're going to tag team this Duma and get out of the way. Now, as long as we can survive this hit, I am confident we'll one-shot her. And there you go. All right. Still not out of the woods yet. We've got a pretty good Lucina with plus attack who can beat Altina and pretty much anybody else. So, we're just going to tank some hits. I hope this is good enough. Now what I can do is, depending who she went after, if she went after Fjorm, it's okay, we'd get healed. If she went after Aversa instead, so I can just heal her up. Next turn, we'll get this. I can survive, she didn't get Moonbow off. And that's my solution. So was, that, was that CMAs? I don't remember who I fought there. You guys are both in the same slot this time. Was that CMA or Alex? Okay, I chose wrong. Alright, so thanks, Alex. I don't like that. That was a very oppressive non-dancer team. So well done. I like that. Okay, next up... We've got an Azura, an Ophelia with Hardy Bearing, Sonia, and again, some more usual suspects for this season. So first thing I know, and the big weakness here, is that this does not... It's got a real big hole with Vantage. Because, I'm, I'm just trying to make sure it's not because of Tactics Room. I don't think it is. Your Ophelia has got Rally up, but the only person she can Rally are these two, or if she stood in place there. And her farthest advance is... One, two, three. Oh, no, that's not true. She could actually come here. I'm wrong. So... But that's not what happens. And maybe I'd be scared that that would happen. Or I could just use Fjorm to shut down the Dancer. I actually haven't tried that. But anyway, what I'm going to do... Just come right up here. And just tank the Duma. I'm going to get Divine Fang. I'm going to heal up. Finish the Aether Collection. And let's go. So she just stays in place. That's the problem. Your Ophelia has got to move so she can get danced. Otherwise, this happens. And it's a no bueno. <laughs> I gotta call out this ridiculous silly. Plus 10, distant counter, brazen. That is some scary stuff. Thankfully, we've got Naga here with some helpers. I think she's actually gonna get in Wings of Mercy range, but this Azura is not gonna be able to do too much about it. You can finish up. So I like the team, it's very oppressive. I, Kane can't beat it. But for the first time in a while, I've actually built a true Vantage team. I'm gonna actually try to see if we can use it today. All right. So as I mentioned, thanks Alex, thanks CMA. I'm going to fight Yurio really quick here. We fought them earlier in the week. They've tweaked a little bit. So let's see what they're doing. <clears throat> because we're going to rematch them today. 
All right, so if you recall, Yurio had a trap Duma, I believe. It opened it up a bit. That's fine. I mean, it ends up not mattering too much. Jafar, did you run Harsh Command on stall this time? So it helps patch his speed debuff a bit. So I can't actually hit with Altina anyway. Her speed is just awful. But you've got this little wall here, which is going to bite you in a second. I'm just going to leave it alone. Let Duma come at me. It's not that strong of a Duma I need to worry about healing. And I'm just going to take my time. We're not going to need any ether when we actually fight this. But no one can go across the mountains or the little wall. Jafar really is kind of pissing me off. <laughs> I wonder if Fjorm could handle you. She can. So we're going to have Raisin come at me. Can I take the Micaiah? I don't know. That's the beauty of this. We can test it over and over. Yes, we can. I can draw back. I can finally get Jafar. And now we just got this lonely little stall. We can finish. All right, so there you go. That's a clear against Yurio's team. Wanted to practice it before we actually did it. Yurio, I hope you're on cooldown because I'm coming for you. All right, before we get there, though, let's watch some defense. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but defense ended up being 330s in a 50. Puts us at 110. Almost perfect. So that's a mini scoring team or almost a perfect scoring team. It's not a mini scoring team. I just... I'm doing minus 50 this week. If I could have had minus 40, I would have had top lift loss and and tier 27. But the way the math's going to play out, we're just going to miss it. Thanks a lot, Chuck Jekyll. Let's see how they beat me. Only two losses this week, but we got dinged. All right. They've got an Ike. Welcome, Ike. Pretty good team. Now, I don't quite know why you'd run a plus one Naga versus two Nagas. Maybe they just don't want to score optimally. If they feel like this is better, it's fine. But doing that, not running two Nagas, is probably not the smartest move in terms of ideal scoring. But what do I know? They beat me. So they just hit and run the Duma. That's a very effective strategy. Anybody who's tried to enemy phase me this week has just been clobbered by Lay or Duma. And this is not enough to be in the back row in a defensive position. That Duma knocking me down was the real was the real kick in the nuts. Because <laughs> if that doesn't happen, I might be able to get out of this. And it looks actually okay because they have to waste a dance. I'm like, whoa, Celica's dead, right? But no, we've got tactics room here this week with a level four. Ooh, that's a very expensive tactics room you've built. I don't particularly agree with it. I don't like Tactics Room in offense because it ends up ruining my strategy half the time and I never know what the hell it's doing. Tactics Room pisses me off in offense and defense. <laughs> but they did it. They got it. So congratulations, Chuck. You ruined my week. You ruined everything! All right. We've got double Altina for the first time. I've never seen this set up and I don't quite know why you'd run it. The only reason I think you'd run it is if this is the only Mythics you have. We've also got a Sothis and a Forsyth I've never seen. What do you do? Soul Lance, you just get some HP back. Okay. And then a Selkie with a lot of res.
Wasn't quite sure what they were trying to do, and this is not what I expected. They're just going with a four Sith on a defense panel, and they think they're safe, guys. They think they're safe! Do they not know it's Doom a week? Doom is strong. He's got Bullfighter. Rally attacks coming. They're not panicking me. Oh, he's in for a bad time. What do you think's going to happen? I really thought Lave would get involved. But Doom is like, nah, I got this. Dracurnic Aura is really strong. Don't screw with Dumas. <laughs> you don't screw with Dumas if you can't one-shot him. And they don't have a Naga's Blessing here to one-shot him. Nor would they be able to when he's on a defense panel. Don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. That's very dangerous. It's lesson for the day. Don't screw with the Duma on the defense panel. It's sort of the reason I chose the map. So if you try to tank it, Duma will get you, or Lave will get you, and draw you back, and then the rest of you, them can clobber you. I'm trying to get you to come on here. That's the point. <laughs> That's the point of this. All right. Oh, no. It's an Alphonse. I actually haven't seen this one, guys, so this will be new to me. We've got a Guidance Naga. Ooh. I'm not a big fan of Guidance on offense, but let's see how they use it. I just... With a turn... Limited turns, I just... Who's going to use it effectively? Just the infantry? Like, maybe if you had ran armors? I'm not a fan of Guidance. Some chills. So I'm guessing they must be trying to do a Vantage Sweeper here. Let's see how well that works out. Who's got my hardy bearing? It's Alm. Okay, so they're just clearing the left side. It's a reasonable strategy. Give her some structures, I suppose. Breaking the panic manner, breaking the... I like this. This is what, this is what I would probably do. But they missed their opportunity to hit the Duma. That was their chance. I think if they would have just sniped him, they've got to find Fang, and then they could have just ran away. But they didn't take that shot. I don't know if Alphonse is going to be able to do this in one shot. Maybe he will. Maybe he will. Oh, but you don't go for the Duma? It's a bit peculiar. Went for the F from. All right, let's see how it plays out. Okay, Micaiah did it. Never mind, that's fine. I get four kills when it's a five on four, huh? Oh, what a stop, Threshier. <laughs> he just could not finish my... Lave, you disappointed me with your crappy speed. Wait, 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 wait. Why would you... Why would you not go after the hardy bearing unit? That's just a big mistake. Like... Nor would it matter, I guess. Oh no, they gambled and lost. They were gonna, they were gonna actually try to clear this. Because... Oh wait, they got an escape ladder. They were trying to clear this? Some iffy decisions in that one. I don't I don't quite understand it, but okay. That's it for defense, that's it for mock battles. Let's summon. It's a new banner. I doubt we're gonna get lucky because we just got a free Hector yesterday. I don't know who I want. Subasa? Blue? I don't know if I want spaceship lady. I don't know if I want to pull on reds. I don't know. We'll see what we get. One blue. I like it. Let's roll. Got a few units on blue I don't have in terms of the three or four star pull. And I guess that's the best case scenario we can get because we're not even going to get a chance. But instead we get Cordelia, who's just Gale Force fodder. Hate her new preferred weapon. It's not what anybody wanted. And that's the end of the banner. I'm not summoning on this, guys. So good luck. Let me know if you managed to pull anybody. If you really like anybody, let me know. Some interesting weapons in there, but nah, I'll just take the Tempest Trial unit and move on. Okay, well it is day seven, we have to make some decisions, as I mentioned, we just tested Yurio's team right here, and hopefully we don't screw it up, <laughs> we'll rematch them at the end, but let's consider what else we can do. Well, I always like getting revenge, and we've got a Sonic Hunter here, but I also don't like fighting Ninian teams, because Ninian teams basically just means we're going to have a bad time, most likely. 
it's probably infantry pulse but the fact that they're not running infantry pulse on c slot sort of tells me that maybe they don't have an infantry pulse team that's a big warning sign to me that this is not a good team because ninian should have infantry pulse if you're running ninian i don't know why you wouldn't maybe they're running a dragon team we could just pick them apart Maybe we could just pick them apart with the Divine Fangs. I'm going to look at their team real quick and see what we've got. This is an educated guess mode. Ooh, plus 10 Nino that she's blessed with Astra. Okay, that means she probably won't be on defense. I see nothing here that's going to scare me from trying to rematch. So let's do it. Let's meet the teams real quick. We went over Team 3 extensively. I like it. So I built a true, fully formed Vantage team. That's my team three. Team two is a variant of team one. I'm just gonna take Team America off. It's just gonna confuse people. No one's gonna understand what the hell that means. And people are just gonna think I'm racist or something. It's just an inside joke. It's the name of a movie that me and my wife like. Um, <laughs> team one is getting a lot of play. I think we pretty much just used that all week. Oh. We need to have a Azura shutdown team. We can. And then this one will work if I want a tank and a Vanchit set. So very similar teams. We're going to boost it. I don't see the actual map yet. Okay. I'm going to rematch and go. 22. I was right. I think this is probably an easy team. But we've got a Tibburn. Not what I was expecting. This is not what I was expecting at all. So Tibbern will transform. Ooh. This is a beast and dragon killer, so I can't put a Naga there. This looks like a pretty good team. And a lunge. <laughs> oh. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, guys. I, I, I don't know. I don't think Vantage is going to work real well because we've got defense units. Oh, God, this is just my nightmare. Tibburn and Elliewood together again. Two rally traps. They just must have an awful offense. How do you manage to end 22? Maybe they just didn't play. I mean, maybe we should just save some time and quicks. I don't see how we're going to beat it. I just don't. Gale Force. I can't bait this side. If I bait this side, well, Ellie Wood is going to hurt a lot. And he's going to double me with all that speed. I mean, let's look at that speed. That's 7, 11, 49. There's no way I can prevent the double. Anybody have Hardy Bearing? Can we just try to vantage this whole thing? I mean, it's possible we could just try to vantage it. But how the hell are we going to do that? I, I just, I don't think we're going to be able to stop Elliewood. Okay, Elliewood's not getting any defense. Screw it, let's do Team 3. I, I feel like this is just going to be a, a loss. This seems to be vantageable, but mm, something bad's gonna happen. I can just feel it. There's no Duma here. Can we take an Alm hit? It's a plus one. Maybe. Ah, this Tibber no. Tibber's gonna get so much defense. I feel like I gotta come right there with it. All right, maybe putting Naga here to prevent the Tibburn hit. But how? How can I prevent the Tibburn hit? He's going to come right there and get danced, and I'm dead. There's no way Altina can beat him. It's just too much defense. But maybe he won't get danced because we've got rallies. Maybe Alm will rally the Elliewood. <clears throat> Dance here. Elliewood goes. Hopefully I can beat him. He dies. Um, hopefully, hopefully I'm in vantage range by then. Probably not. I don't see it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I just don't see this working. What is your desire? With utter certainty. Out with the old. I can't get next to her because I just can't get next to her. I'm going to lose the um, attack death bonus, and I need it to have any chance of finishing this. I'm not going to be able to give... I suppose I should have used Fjorm in an actual capacity to stop the dancer. I didn't even think about it. I wasn't even playing with Fjorm here. I suppose I could back off, but now no, I'm too far gone. I don't know, guys. That's why I don't play Vantage. <laughs> it's just too complicated. But for this team, I'm hoping I'm in Vantage range now. I am. I beat the Alm. Okay. Actually worked all right. It worked all right. We've actually shut down the Azura. It's just, I don't, well, maybe. Maybe we can beat you. I've got something to play with, at least. This is something. I still don't like it. First thing I see is the repo here, try to beat the Tibber, and then hopefully we can beat the Elliewood. I, do, I, don't, I don't know, though. Do I have enough firepower to beat an Elliewood? But then it makes me think of all of these rallies have been stopped. So if it actually works well, I've killed everyone and I've lost the ether. Which means we have to do a third fight to pick up the ether, which I don't really want to do. So I could repo, repo again, or draw back maybe. I really want Aversa next to these people so I can hopefully guarantee the kill on Elliewood. He's got pitiful defense, but you never know. I could do that, but then that would block me, that would put my, um, that would ruin my A skill. Yes. You have my trust. Just doing it. <clears throat> I will kill you, Ninian. I will kill you. Won't I? Pretty sure effectiveness is 50%, so that puts me in the 80s. Your effective bulk is 78. I'll probably just barely kill you, and I will kill everything. And we can't have that. <laughs> nope, can't have that. So, unfortunately... Thankfully, I don't care about the Panic Manor. One of the beauties of this team is that I don't have any visible buffs. I'm also going to work on this left side, try to clear some stuff. God, this is just a garbage dump. How the hell do I get over there? Who's going to be left alive? I guess it's the Ninian versus Aversa, maybe. If we can beat this Elliewood, which I'm not sure we can, especially since I didn't get Aversa here. This is a 45. It's not going to affect anyone, so who cares? Got to do that. Can I beat the Elliewood? Yes, we can! <laughs> Yay! Guys, this might be my first true vantage clear ever. I can beat Ninian again. But is that because... Yeah, that is definitely because of Versus there. And I would die, so I cannot move here. Who's got more res and defense? I guess it doesn't matter. I've just got to start clearing this crap. Draw back. Ninian's going to go after Aversa now. 
suppose I'll just do that. Go for all the way down, please. Yes, perfect. What do you have? Moonbow. I was right. Naga was going to beat the crap out of you. Now, I think I can just finish this if I really want to. But maybe I made a mistake and I didn't get all the ether this week. So let's not take the chance and finish it up. Wow, guys, that was fun. I really thought I was dead, but just no, nobody had Hardy Berry. Wow, I'm, I'm pretty shocked. Vintage is fun. I like Altina. Man, I really wish I could get uh, some more Altina merges. She is she is really fun. All right, Yurio. It's come down to this. The only way I screw this up is if I uh, just forget what I did. Unless Yurio's changed in the last five minutes, we should have been forewarned. So, hey, we're like the Houston Astros. We're getting somebody just banged the trash can. We know what's coming. Does anybody watch baseball? <laughs> I mean, I could go team one. We didn't practice it, so let's just go all Vantage Day. That's the name of the. That's the name of the uh, video for sure. Vantage Day. Uh, you're gonna be able to hit me here. I really want both. You have my trust. Both of my goes to work. Certainty. Actually, I don't want to break that. Consider it done. Yes. I love you. Let's take this seven damage. You can take the hit. Doom was gone. And now this is for real. <laughs> it's all fun and games when you're just screwing around in practice. But Jafar was really scaring me. So I, maybe we could get screwed up by a dancer getting too far. You know, we could just test it and go for it. But then I'm worried about the Wings of Mercy. So I don't really want to do that. So let's just hang back. I, mean, I really should heal you up. There's really nothing that's gonna kill me. I don't remember if that's what I did or what. Okay, well, this is different. We can beat the racing, which seems like a good idea. Let's think about it. Done thinking about it. Turn four. Don't really like what happened here. Thirty one speed, pretty pitiful res. I'm trying to be kind of just screwing around here. So from there, I can bait the Micaiah now. There's no more Wings of Mercy. She does have Don Suzu, cause I, so I can't try to vantage that. Hope that's good enough. Actually, didn't even see if there was a... Yeah, if there would have been a rally on that Ophelia, I was screwed. Turn six. It's coming down to the wire. 
As soon as Jafar goes away, I can vantage the Ophelia if that's what I wanted to do. Can't one shot you. But I can one shot you. Are you giving some sort of help? Nope. Okay, let's try this. If I fail. That'll debuff Ophelia. It's not good enough. Wait, hold on. It should be enough. Let's do it. <laughs> That's not quite what we did in practice, but the, the, the overall strategy was the same. Uh, it's not going to be a top thousand finish either. That's really too bad. I mean, it's the moral of the story. I think I've, I've learned is don't don't take a, a forty point loss. I can't afford it. I can't afford it if I want to try to get top thousand. It's just so close to getting tier twenty seven. Eh, it's okay. I wasn't really in love with my defense this week. It did pretty good. We got one, two, three, four, four successes, and then pretty much ticky-tack wins. We just only had two losses, right? Was it two? Which is unfortunate one of them counted. What you gonna do, guys? Does anybody care about the, the right leaderboards anymore? I guess I'll do it for posterity. Should be a bunch of 14,000 finishes. We've now reached 21 people, tw 17 people. Well, more than that. 20 people? 20 people over 14,000 or at 14,000. Hey, there's Fred Effect. Congratulations, Fred. Did you get another perfect week? Ooh, probably already a plus 10 Tsubasa. Wow. People like dropping some money. All right, if you see anybody on there, give them a shout out in the comments. I saw Fred. Good job, guys. Let me know how your week went. Start building next week. Probably gonna build a Selkie. Probably. I don't know what else to use. Let's see how that goes. Until we meet again, guys, which will be tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.